Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Donjo SB6-626. This is a slide bolt, is what it is. We would call this a modern style slide bolt. And these modern type slide bolts are nice because they're petite. Uh, you know, they don't take up a lot of room. They're not some grand affair with long lengths and very large mounting points. Uh, they're elegant. Uh, and they're available in shorter lengths as well, even longer lengths you can get technically uh, in the uh, from us. We can supply them even longer. The fact of the matter, however, is um, this is a pretty good size uh, for typical applications, although there are times when a much shorter one is nice, like a 2-inch or a 3-inch, because you just want to close something but don't want to draw all that attention to it. So modern is what we'd call this. Let's go over the dimensional properties. Overall... Height, about 5 eighths. Overall thickness, about a quarter inch. They say this is six inch. The overall length is six inch. This is gonna have, because we get this question, it's gonna have a projection of about three quarter inch. This is going to include a, uh, certainly a mortise strike and probably a rim strike. Yeah, definitely. Here's your rim strike and your mortise strike, and we'll go over where these are installed. The rim strike, uh, you'd use this in a pull side application. Overall height, about three quarter. Overall width, looks like it's about inch and a quarter. That mortise strike, overall width, about an inch and a half, and about a half inch wide, okay? It's gonna include a screw package. The only finish that we have listed in the site is 626. That means three things. It's made of solid brass, it's in a satin chrome plated finish, and it has a clear lacquer over it just to protect the finish. Uh, concealed mounting makes it very nice and elegant. Okay. Can't go any further than how it's kept captive inside of here. Okay. Let's uh, switch to the screen view and we'll show you where you're going to use those strikes, but where are you going to install this? I would imagine you have a relatively lightweight door and you need a bolt to secure that. Um, lightweight meaning it's not so massive or heavy that this is really just not enough hardware to keep it in a secured position. Um, a lightweight cabinet, or it might be some sort of a cabin door, or it might be something, you know, in a uh, vacation trailer, you know, all kinds of different applications. You use this smaller sort of hardware. I don't imagine it going on a 3090 uh, two and a quarter solid core entry door. Um, places where you want something a little less conspicuous. Let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here's the item that we are indeed looking at. Let's take a look at some images that we have posted here. There it is in its packaging. Rim strike, mortise strike. Showing the end of what that looks like. A closer up view there as well. Nice tapered edge there. That's a nice feature. Uh, that's not a defect. That allows the bolt to enter the prep and the strike. It's a bit more of a forgiving sort of detail. As you can see there, that's that's not milling runoff. That's not a defect. That's It's supposed to be that way. Back side of it showing the knob, end view. Side view, obviously. Then your screw pack and your two strikes. Okay, now extended description information is here down below. Furnished with rim and mortise strikes. Screws are included. They give you the dimensions and that it is solid brass um, with a satin chrome finish. Sold as each. When you buy one, we'll ship you one. There's a template and a product catalog. Let's look at the template first. Gives you the basic dimensional properties, certainly beyond um, what I've covered for the most part. 
Uh, it does indicate other finishes on that template as well, but for some reason I see that we only have satin chrome. So we're going to confirm um, what finishes are available. I'd be surprised to learn only satin chrome is available. Now that link to the product catalog, I'd rather take a look at the product catalog on the manufacturer's page here. So let's click on that. And from this page, we'll be able to pull up not only all of the Don Joe products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog and that full product catalog broken into subsections. The bolts and latches are here where we will find our SB6, at least I thought we would, SB-6, that's what they call it here. And it does indicate not only different finishes, but different sizes. Two, three, four, six, and 12 inch in polished brass, 605 polished brass, 613 oil rubbed bronze, six, uh, I should be down here, 605 polished brass, 613 oil rub bronze, 619 satin nickel, 620 antique nickel, 625 polished chrome, 626 satin chrome. So there are the sizes. And those bolts and latches. And I, I have de determined to conclude that we do indeed have them in the site in all of those lengths. Uh, pardon me, the uh, different lengths and the different finishes. It's an SB dash and then the size. So we're looking at SB-6. Here it is, polished brass, antique brass, wasn't on the template. Oil rubbed, satin nickel, antique nickel, polished chrome, satin chrome. So there you go. Uh, okay, now that catalog to the bolts and latches, this would be a uh, trip down into the different bolts and latches, obviously. That's what's called the River Walk in Chicago, and that's a... Um, that's a, a boat that takes tourists out and gives probably, well, not probably, I've been on it, an architectural tour of the building. Um, you can walk along here, very nice. This street, I forget the name of it. Wacker, maybe, I forget. That runs north and south. Uh, pardon me. Um, yeah, north and south it runs. There's a Mies van der Rohe building right off here. Anyway, um, I happen to know that because I grew up in that city. Manual flush bolts, automatic flush bolts, residential flush bolts, flush bolts for aluminum doors, dustproof strikes. As you scroll through here, you're certainly going to find the items that meet the criteria of the title, bolts and latches. Here are our modern surface bolts here. They also have a line of these uh, more ornate bolts. They call them Dutch door bolts in different lengths, as you can see. And in terms of surface bolts, other than these commercial looking caliber um, items, in terms of what you would use in a residential project, um, it would just be these two options. Okay. If you know the name Don Joe at all, you do for their latch protectors and their wraparound plates, that's to be sure. If you have ever had a kick in or break in, someone's damaged the door, <clears throat> Don Joe can sell you all these door reinforcers to bring your door back to life uh, to a certain extent anyway. So those are the two products that are what make Don Joe a name in my opinion. A, you know, I need one of those Don Joe plates. You know, they're probably referring to a wraparound plate. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Certainly very helpful people over at Donjo. They do a great job supporting their client base. This is their SB6 and a 626 finish or satin chrome. If you have any questions on this or any other Donjo product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.